The Pittsburgh Steelers have over $16 million in cap space. So is it going to be used for a big time move or is it just going to be a rollover to next season? First, before I get more into it, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn notifications for everything Pittsburgh Steelers news and updates. Also like the video. Now let's get right back into it. So the Pittsburgh Steelers are a little bit over $16 million under the cap meaning that they have some money to spend if they want to or they could just roll it over to next season and have more money to spend next year despite the fact that the steers usually keep some cap space available for potential in-season moves the steers have a number of potential extensions up for grabs in 2025 which they have to get done so it would kind of be smart for the pittsburgh steers and wise of them to roll over some cap space to account for those extensions next season, especially with the uncertainty of the team's quarterback play in 2024 and potentially a need to pay Russell Wilson and or Justin Fields along with some other players as well like Najee Harris or Jalen Warren or other players that need extensions. Or if they want to go all in for this season, they still have $16 million to spend in cap space. So, it's not like the Steelers always go right up to the cap in terms of spending. It's usually around like 4 to $5 million that ends up getting rolled over to the next season. But this year, right now, it's sitting at 16, which leaves you to think that maybe it's still a big move may be made, or it's in the works, or just in general, Omar Khan and the Steelers are just keeping their options open. And he admitted this. Omar Khan admitted when he kind of restructured Alex Highsmith's contract during the draft or right before the draft. That was because they want to keep all their options on the table if a big move would have got done. And he admitted this in his press conference, I believe like a month ago. So Omar Khan, he restructured Alex Highsmith's contract to open up cap space for a big move. A big move did not happen. So now they said 16 million, but that money can roll over to next season. So Looking at a quote from Brian Brabacco of Post Gazette, here's what he had to say on the Steelers' cap space situation. I think this could make sense for the Steelers because, again, just very difficult to tell what they're going to be in 2024 because of the quarterback position. You don't really know what you're going to get from Russell Wilson. You can look at the stat lines and box scores from Denver and talk yourself into him being really good for this team, helping them win a playoff game or two, but you really just don't know. End quote. So obviously that means, hey, you don't know what the Steelers team is going to be this season. Do you really think you're going to be Super Bowl contenders this year? If so, why not spend the $16 million? Go all in for this season if you really think spending that money will help. But if you don't think you're going to be Super Bowl contenders and you may be a playoff team but not the Super Bowl to get over the hedge, the, the bump in the road, then sure, why not roll over that money and have extra room to spend next season which would be 16 million, which could really help in extensions or just getting players next year. And maybe next season, a year later, the Steelers could be Super Bowl contenders. So that could be both ways. It depends which way you want to look at it. If you think the Steelers are Super Bowl contenders this season and that one extra move can make them real contenders, or are they not contenders and that move won't move, mean anything, so you just move on to next season. So it really depends on how the Steelers play. And that move can still be made at the trade deadline. So keeping that $16 million open and not spending it right now, but like the Steelers always kind of make moves during the trade deadline or in season, they've picked up some players in the past mid season. So maybe they're using that money and they see, Hey, our team is doing so great during the season and then the trade deadline comes and they still have that $16 million to spend so they can spend it in season. So it really depends on what the Steelers want to do and having all options on the table right now. Another reason why you might want to roll over the money is because yes, Russell Wilson, Justin Fields, there's two quarterbacks right there. And the Pittsburgh Steelers can look at Russell Wilson after the season and be like, hey, we want to build upon you. We think you did a good job. Let's build for the future with you. And they pay him. Or Justin Fields, they go ahead and pay him and want to move forward with a younger, more mobile quarterback and someone who can get the job done, they believe in Justin Fields. Or the third possibility, which really could be an option, is the Steelers may have to look outside of those two and go into free agency and maybe spend some money on a quarterback. 
a quarterback in which they would need to pay a lot of money. They may go into the open market and be like, hey, we don't think Russell Wilson, we don't think Justin Fields could get the job done for the future, so let's go pay a quarterback that's a free agent. And then they would need money for that. Quarterbacks don't make low money. They make a lot of money. So that means that that $16 million could really help in terms of signing a quarterback just in case if a third option becomes a reality next season. Anyway, before I move on to the next topic of this video, you have to think about it like this. Look at the Pittsburgh Steelers. Look at the players out there right now. Would adding Brandon Ayuk, for example, to this roster, even though Adam Schefter, even though Brandon Ayuk think that they're going to be in a 49ers uniform, do you really think adding Brandon Ayuk to this roster makes a huge difference in terms of Super Bowl contenders? Or adding Cortland Sutton, does that make them Super Bowl contenders? Or are you just adding a piece to add a piece and wasting that $30 million contract extension that he would need? Or wasting that $20 million that the other player is making? Is that move really going to be a big difference maker, giving up draft capital plus cap space for that player? Does that player make a huge difference and make them win the Super Bowl? You have to think about it like that. Obviously, the Steelers, they have so many options on the table. Can a big move still be made? Sure. Why not? A contract negotiation, contract agreement has yet to been make, made and with the 49ers and some other players. So, can it happen? Yes. Is it going to happen? Probably not. But all options are on the table for a big move or all options are on the table for a rollover. But anyway, let's move on to the next topic of this video. Because once again, Cameron Hayward, he was talking about his, I guess, free agency next season. His contract situation next season. And once again, he brought up the Browns. But this time, he brought up the Cleveland Browns in a different light. I guess he heard all the feedback. He heard all the outroar from the Steelers fans when he basically mentioned Cleveland last time. Saying he had a family in Cleveland and he may play in Cleveland, I guess. But he heard all the outroar. He responded to it then. And once again, now, he appeared on another podcast, and this time he said the right thing when asked about Cleveland. This is what he had to say. Here's his quote. Steelers fans took it very literal when I was talking to the reporter at the time. It was more like, you know, I could play elsewhere. I've got family elsewhere. I've got family in Georgia. I've got family in Cleveland. And Pittsburgh was not too happy about that. And rightfully so. I would never play or want to play for not only a rival, but a team that's so close that there's such bad blood there. I don't think I could do that, but my wife being from Cleveland was just not for it at all. I was like, babe, I'm not going to Cleveland. You don't have to worry about that. End quote. So this time he said the right thing. Praise, praise Cameron Hayward for saying the right thing this time on his podcast. Now, no videos are going to be made about Cameron Hayward. No Articles should be made about Cameron Hayward in a bad light. Maybe now it'll be in a positive light. Him saying that he doesn't want to go to Cleveland and Steelers fans calm down and not talk about Cameron Hayward bad because of that. He said the right thing this time. There we go. Clear the air. Move on. He took accountability saying that he shouldn't have said that. And he said the right thing saying he would never go to Cleveland. And there's bad blood, rival, everything like that. Even though it's not a rival, Steelers are way better. Anyway, the Steelers, obviously, they want to sign Cameron Hayward. You would think... To a contract extension. It still may not happen. Cameron Hayward might still end up leaving the Pittsburgh Steelers next season because of no contract extension agreement. But you just never know. If he does leave, at least he won't be leaving to the Cleveland Browns. That's all we have to deal with. Do we still want him back? Sure. If he can stay healthy, if he can still play at a high level, why not have Cameron Hayward back on this team? But the Steelers are keeping all options on the table for someone who will be turning 36 years old soon why give a contract extension for multiple years into the future if you just don't know about what they could do for your team right now? You know what's funny about that statement, though, from Cameron Harrod saying how he would not play for a rival? It's because 30% of his defense line starters currently or in the past, over the years, have been division rivals who came to the Pittsburgh Steelers. For example, Larry Ogunjobi. That came over from the Cleveland Browns, Cincinnati Bengals, and some other players as well. So you look at it, and some players that he's played with came over from rivals, but he doesn't want to fall in the same footsteps as those others. But anyway, that's the end of this video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on both the cap space situation. Would he roll over the money into next season to have more money to spend? Or would he make a big move 
and spend that $16 million to go all in for this season because you think we're Super Bowl contenders? And also, how do you feel about Cameron Hayward saying the right thing this time, that he would not go to the Browns and things like that? Let me know your thoughts. And also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications for everything Pittsburgh Steelers news and updates. I covered the entire offseason. Train camp right around the corner will continue to do so. And the preseason, regular season, I'm covering it all. And I've covered it all. So, turn notifications, like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you guys all later. I'm out. Peace.